When it comes to buying the right model, there's so many factors to consider. And that's why today we picked and reviewed the best models for you and ranked them by price, quality, performance, and more. You can check their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Now, let's go straight to the list. Today, we will be taking a look at the best laptops for video editing you can buy today. Number five, ZenBook Pro Duo UX581. In case you like the idea of the screen pad and want one with a smoother, more responsive touch, then go to the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo UX581. Not only does this laptop carry over most benefits of the ZenBook 15, but outdoes it in some areas. The ZenBook Pro Duo UX581 sports a much bigger 14-inch screen pad. Also, navigating the screen pad, taking handwritten notes is a whole lot easier with the stylus, and yes, the stylus is included with the purchase. The laptop is also pretty darn powerful and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the MacBook Pro. That's because this also features a 9th generation i9-9980HK octa-core processor capable of turbo boosting at 5.0 GHz and giving you all the freedom to run multiple editing programs, Photoshop, keep 10 plus tab browsers open even when you render videos in the 32 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, and you can even run those new gaming titles that you'd missed out on with the ZenBook 15 as the laptop is armed with a dedicated GeForce RTX 2060 GPU unit with six gigabytes of VRAM. It also gives you a larger and faster one terabyte PCLE NVMe SSD and Thunderbolt ports for lightning fast data transfers. As for the display, it is the same vibrant and vivid 15.6 inch 4K display. Lastly, while the laptop does come with everything a pro editor could ask for, it will also cost you around $3,000. Plus, at 5.60 pounds, this is one of the heaviest laptops on the list. A few small drawbacks of an otherwise impressive laptop. Number 4. Asus ZenBook 15 if you are looking for a mid-range laptop, the Asus ZenBook 15 fits the bill. Here's everything you need to know about it from a video editor's perspective. First and foremost, for a laptop that costs a little more than $1,000, the 4K resolution of the 15.6-inch IPS display is a pleasant surprise. The 100% sRGB color gamut means colors and contrast are vibrant, giving you vivid, crystal clear display. Plus, Acer has also kept bezel to a minimum at 2.99 millimeters, which means that the laptop has an amazing 92% screen to body ratio, even trumping the Acer Nitro 5 and MSI P65 creator. Then there is also the ScreenPad 2.0 that acts as a secondary touchscreen display, in turn boosting productivity. That is because you can run video tutorials, music, or even make quick notes on ideas that pop up. Furthermore, with video editing software like Corel, you can also use tools on it for quicker access, thus speeding up the process and creating a smoother workflow. But that's not all. There are many things that the screen pad can do. Learn all about it in this tutorial by Asus. The keyboard comes with a good travel time of 1.4 millimeter between keys. Plus, it is backlit so you can continue working in the dark without any hassles. Also, adding to the comfort of typing is ErgoLift, an engineering genius that tilts the keyboard by 3 to 4 degrees for a more comfortable position. It is like the side stand that desktop keyboards used to come with. This also provides more room at the bottom for heat to escape. Plus, you get better audio. There are also quick keys, i.e. dedicated hotkeys so you can take screenshots, unlock the laptop, etc. within seconds. Unlocking can be set to a press of a single button. As for the specs, the laptop has a 10th generation i7-10510U, which meets both clock speed and core requirements of smooth running of any video editing software at 4.5 GHz and processor 4 cores. The 16GB RAM works pretty well unless you run heavy programs in the background. 
further supporting smooth playbacks and even allowing you some game time is the discreet 4 gigabytes GeForce GTX 1650. The 512GB SSD is good for a start point. Yes, as work increases, you might need an upgrade for all your stock videos and photos, but more importantly, it is an SSD, so all your editing software, games, etc. load faster. In case you need a quick Google search for a shortcut or a tutorial, Amazon Alexa voice service is at hand. There is also the built-in IR camera for facial recognition that makes for easy unlocking and quick. There are also multiple Type-C ports, Type-A ports, and an HDMI port to cover all your data transfer needs. Unlike other models, this also comes with an SD card reader, which is great for video editors who edit their own videos shot via DSLRs. There aren't Thunderbolt ports, so while Type-A ports do give speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second, you miss out on speeds like 40 gigabytes per second. The screen pad's touchscreen isn't as intuitive as a mobile and takes some getting used to before you can take full advantage of it. Lastly, if you are into a professional video editor and run apps like Photoshop or After Effects in the background to help with the edits, 16 gigabytes of RAM isn't enough as it won't support heavy background apps. Number 3. Acer Nitro 5 If you are still in the process of learning video editing and want the best laptop for video editing on a budget, you will be glad to know that the Acer Nitro 5 will cost you less than $800. Here's more about it. For a cheaper laptop, the Acer Nitro 5 does punch well above its weight. It comes with 8GB of RAM, a 9th generation i5-9300H processor that clocks at 4.1GHz and has 4 cores and an SSD storage. This means a laptop can easily handle full HD edits without any lags, making it the ideal laptop for travel bloggers, video editing students, or hobbyists. Then, there is a GeForce GTX 1650 graphics with 4GB of dedicated RAM. So, you not only get faster playbacks, but you can also enjoy a few games like Fortnite or Overwatch. The SSD isn't big, but nonetheless, install your OS and your editing software on it, and it will ensure your laptop and your editing software boots or loads in a matter of seconds. And, in case you need more space, there's one slot open. With twin fans and dual exhaust ports, the Acer CoolBoost technology does a good job of keeping the laptop cool for all those hours of intense gaming or video editing. Compared to previous models, Acer has kept up with the trend and narrowed the bezels to just 7.02 millimeters, thus giving you a large, more immersive display with its 15.6-inch full HD screen. It has a brightness of 300 nits, which is good enough for a clear view even in bright sunlight, making it easy to use the laptop both indoors and outdoors. As for the colors, the IPS display lives up to its reputation. In case you are looking for a laptop from a more gaming perspective, there's also a variant with a 144Hz refresh rate and 3 milliseconds response that reduces blurring and ghosting you experience on a 60Hz screen. USB-C charging means that not only will your laptop charge in a couple of hours, but you also do not need to carry around a bulky charger, which is a blessing considering the laptop is slightly on the heavier side. There are also HDMI ports, USB 3.1 port, USB 3.2 Type-A port that provides transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second and also supports offline charging. The 4-Zone RGB backlit keyboard allows you to spice things up when it's game time. And when you're editing, you can edit the backlight layout with the Nitro Sense. This also helps you monitor system performance by giving you real-time updates on temperatures, fan speeds, etc. Typing and using shortcuts all day long, whether for gaming or editing, is also comfortable as the keys have an ideal 1.6mm travel time between them. The killer, trademark, E2600 automatically detects and prioritizes programs that need more bandwidth, which is useful with both gaming and for downloading or watching video editing tutorials and effects. Lastly, there's a killer control center 2.0 that allows you to monitor, 
optimize and adjust the laptop's networking performance to best suit your needs. The laptop is more suited for beginners or semi-professionals that work with full videos as the specs aren't powerful enough for 4K videos. The 8GB of RAM means running heavy background programs while editing or gaming can slow down the PC or overheat it. The laptop also lacks Thunderbolt ports. While Type A USB ports provide good transfer speeds, nothing matches the 40 gigabytes per second of Thunderbolt ports. 256 gigabytes of storage is pretty low, considering you are going to use it for gaming and video editing. Thankfully, there's an empty slot that can be used once you run out of storage. Number 2. MSI P65 Creator 1084 If you use Adobe Premiere or DaVinci and would prefer a Windows laptop, the MSI Creator is just what the doctor ordered for, and here's why. With 32GB of RAM, the P65 not only makes it possible to edit and render 4K or 8K videos, but also run other important software such as Adobe After Effects, Photoshop, or even multiple browser tabs in the background. And further supporting that is the 6-core, 9th generation i7-9750H processor that turbo boosts at 4.5 GHz. This laptop also comes with 1 terabyte of SSD, thus ensuring you have ample storage space for all your edits, renders, stock footages, audio files, and other things. Plus, you can also install your most important software and OS on the SSD so everything loads and boots in an instant. And, as you already know, a dedicated GPU unit is the icing on the cake since it also plays a helping hand in the editing process by speeding up renders, video encoding, etc. But the GeForce RTX 2060 6GB goes above and beyond that. That's because you can run pretty much any of the latest titles on it as well. This includes GTA 5, FIFA 21, Fortnite, Call of Duty, etc. at good frame rates so lag is never an issue. The 15.6 inch IPS display comes with a 4K resolution, thus enabling you to spot even the tiniest of details in the images and videos without having to squint your eyes or zoom too much. And when I say details, that also includes colors and contrast that pop up thanks to the 100% sRGB color gamut. You get maximum viewing as the screen has ultra-thin 0.19-inch bezels. Keeping the laptop cool through all these long renders, edits, or even game nights is Cooler Boost Trinity Plus technology, which includes three dedicated fans and six heat pipes. From display color mode, sound effects to LED backlit colors, and tons of other settings, the Creator Center that gives you all the power you need over the system's performance to create the best working environment for yourself. Thanks to the Thunderbolt ports, transferring of stock videos, editing files, photos, etc. is going to be super fast as you get speeds of up to 40 gigabytes per second. In case you want multiple displays or want to connect your laptop to a larger display, there is also an HDMI port. Lastly, the laptop is just as portable as a MacBook. It easily fits the ultra-light and ultra-thin category since it weighs around 4.2 pounds and is just 0.7 inches. One of the few drawbacks of this laptop is sound and battery life. As a professional, I'm pretty sure you already rely on good earphones or headphones for sound, so that isn't a deal breaker. As for battery life, the laptop gives you 3 to 4 hours when editing videos or with any graphics intensive tasks. To charge the laptop, you need to carry a bulky charger around since the laptop does not support USB-C charging. Also, this is another laptop for professionals only, as it costs around $2,000, but lesser than the MacBook Pro. Number 3. The new Apple MacBook Pro. Are you a professional video editor that uses the Final Cut Pro for editing? The new Apple MacBook Pro combines both a timeless design and power-packed performance. Here's more about it. 
Don't you just hate it when your HD or 4K video takes tons of time to playback or render? Or how long video effects like the stabilizer, shifter, etc. take to apply and render? The new MacBook Pro is primed for any and every software, including FCP. That is because it comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the latest 9th generation i9 processor that turbo boosts to 4.8 gigahertz. Plus, it has 8 cores, full HD or 4K. Your laptop slowing down will be an issue of the past. Some aspects of video editing rely on clock speed, whereas some on multiple cores to ensure fast processing. Thus, having both is important, and that's where the MacBook Pro excels. You also want all your apps to open up in a flash and your laptop to boot in an instant, right? That's where an SSD beats HDD. Plus, fewer moving parts also reduce the chances of a breakdown, thus saving you overhead expenses and ensuring your work continues without a hitch. Then there is also the dedicated 4GB AMD Radeon Pro 5500M GPU. But wait, GPU wasn't important when it comes to video editing, right? Yes, it isn't a must, but having it speeds up the video editing process in Final Cut Pro X. Furthermore, Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve editing suite comes with a video playback engine that's tailor-made for dedicated GPUs like the MacBook Pros. And to top it all, when you aren't editing, you can enjoy the off time with some multiplayer games like PUBG, Fortnite, etc. Because who doesn't need a break? You need a big, beautiful display to create beautiful edits and the 16-inch Retina display does not disappoint. It is the biggest Apple has ever offered, has a resolution of 3072 by 1920 that supports 4K videos and is also equipped with a P3 wide color gamut. This means you get a vibrant display that generates lifelike videos and images with the deepest blacks and whites. You are not going to miss even the minutest details with this baby. Furthermore, it also has a brightness close to 400 nits, so whether you plan to use a laptop indoors or outdoors in bright sunlight, you should get a crystal clear display. If you want your edits to be done quicker, you should rely on shortcuts, which makes having the right touchpad and keyboard. Thankfully, Apple has shifted to the Magic Keyboard. The Magic Keyboard provides better feedback and does not get stuck with regular usage unlike the much maligned Butterfly Keyboard of the previous versions. The touchpad remains equally smooth and understands gestures like pinch zoom, etc. The keyboard also has an adjustable backlight, which means you can work just as comfortably even in the dark. Also, adding to the productivity and creating a smoother workflow is a touch bar that displays custom functions based on the features you use most when editing videos with FCP or any other editor. All those large video and audio files can be backed up or transferred into your laptop within seconds to minutes since the laptop comes with Thunderbolt ports that provide data transfer speeds up to a whopping 40 gigabytes per second. The six-speaker system with force-canceling woofers produces loud sound enough to fill up any room and yet remains clear so you can hear almost every beat. As they say, 50% of the edit is good sound. Unlike most high-powered laptops, the MacBook Pro remains ultra-light at 4 pounds and is compact enough to be carried away in a backpack as you travel to the mountains or in the handbag as you rush to a meeting with clients. The USB-C charger is equally light and compact, and even with all-day usage of FCP, the Pro should deliver five to six hours of battery life on a single charge, which can go up to seven to eight hours when you aren't editing. The high price tag means the laptop only suits professional video editors. If you are just a beginner and learning to use FCP, then I would recommend you get a MacBook Air with an i5 processor. Also, 32 gigabytes of RAM would have been even better as you can run more programs in the background like Adobe After Effects, Photoshop, etc., even when rendering or playing a video.
can check out the prices of all the products mentioned on this list in the description below. Thanks for watching today's video and make sure you hit the subscribe button for more content like this.